Now back to Catholicism. Yes. Because I know you love it. Look, it's not about love. I think it's about establishing the truth. You just can't keep off it, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a world view that has been, I believe, disproven. And I'll, t I'll, I'll tell you why it's been disproven. Okay. If you look at the Western world that we live in today, yeah. thousands of millions upon millions of, of former Catholics have left the faith because they've disproven the text or the church itself. No, they've not. They've not. I, listen, I can tell you why I know that. They've not left because of disproving anything. They leave because they're lazy horses, because they don't want to li live with the discipline. And listen, I went to Catholic school from my babyhood, sort of. Yeah, but as a heathen, excuse me. Not as a Catholic, though. Oh, okay. As a, a heathen, we're taking and a joke. I only call you heathen as a joke. I mean, obviously, we are heathens to each other, but nice heathens. No, but I would never, say, I would never call you heathen. It's in a nice way. See, this is there comes a point where you can actually be kind of like jovial, right? I, I, to call me a heathen... It, call I'm me not, a Catholic. No, 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 I like no, that. No, but I would never call you a Catholic. I'll tell you why. I'll tell Go you why on. I won't call you a Catholic. Because I don't know where, whether you will end up in heaven and I will end up in hell. I don't know. All right, Only okay. Only the one that created okay. you and I knows. You so okay. for me to say that, it would be All right, you problem. don't want to get jokey. That's yeah. all right. No, you don't have not, to. It's not jokey. You okay. meant this. All right. But, but, but all I'm saying to you is you don't know whether I will be in heaven or hell. You don't know whether you're going to be in heaven or hell. All right. So well, listen. Most Catholics, most Catholics, in my world, have left. Oh, it's him. <laughs> Most Catholics, I'm just saying from my knowledge and, and living in England, all that, is that they lapse because of partly laziness, partly because the Catholic faith has not been taught since the 1960s. I mean that. If you went to Catholic school and if you subsequently learned the Catholic faith, you know you would never learn it in a Catholic school. If you went to Mass every Sunday, you'd never learn it at Mass. This is our internal issue. You don't have to bother about it because you're not one of us, but it's an internal issue for us. Okay, but, but, but now, go on. <laughs> there's been, look, the Bible has been disproven, and, I, and I, the reason why it's been, been disproven, there are numerous scholars today, like Bert Ehrman, as you know. Do you know what? I need you to start doing this and I'll get some viewers. <laughs> go on. But, but, but these people, they're not, um, they're not genuine. I don't think they're genuine. They're here to far, argue to them. I, I know, it's often so. Here, the way I see Speaker's Corner is to exchange ideas. Okay. Now, if you have the truth, yeah. then that truth should be evident and clear so that I can grasp. But again, I'm saying based on what you've told me, I can't, it's not, I can't grasp it because it's still not logical. It's not rational. Not logical? Yes, yeah, not logical. Where's the lack of logic? I mean, I take that very seriously. Have you read Bert Ehrman's book? Uh, I've he's done loads of books. I've read some of his stuff. Um, Most of it I haven't read. Okay. There's one book <coughs> which basically... Uh, I've read Lost Christianities. Yeah, the, it talks about the scribes and how they changed the Bible. Uh, the, 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 I know which one you mean, yeah, the, but I've not gone through it. Yeah, but he still believes that the rich, that the, He believes Jesus was crucified. But he still does believe that Jesus was crucified. Yes.